Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. What is today, Bob? It's Wednesday, the 29th of July. What year is this? 2009. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. You're listening to Financial Survival. I'm Melody Cedarstrom, and this program is brought to you by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. 1-800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. And uh, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Questions? we got a few, but we could use a few more. Just send them to discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. Discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. And you can visit our website at discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. Uh, you can listen to these programs time and time again. Until you get tired of them, you can listen to them over and over again. And also there's lots of things for you to read on the website. And um, we're hopefully we'll be publishing a, a little bit of a, a very small booklet. And hopefully we'll have the first uh, part of it on the website maybe the next couple of weeks. So uh, make sure you keep checking out the website, discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. Um, or give us a call, 800-375-4188. Gold today, she's, she's trying to claw her way back, down 790 at 930.10. We have silver down 42 at 1333. Platinum down 22 at 1181. And we also have palladium down today, 259, down a little over a percent and a half. And uh, pretty much everything is in the red, but uh, except the U.S. dollar. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, when you have the Chinese delegates here in Washington, you know, muscles are being flexed. 800-375-4188. Give us a call. And uh, today, being Wednesday, we have Robert Chapman joining us from the International Forecaster. Good afternoon, Bob. Good afternoon, Melody. I'm watching one of my subscribers play soccer right now for Byron Munich. Mm-hmm. And uh, he won the Golden Boot last year, mm-hmm. and uh, which is the best player, the best scorer in, um, in the Bundesliga. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I thought I'd mention it. We have subscribers all over the world. Anyway, um, why is gold doing what it's doing? Uh, well, like Melody said, um, <clears throat> Uh, the um, the Chinese are in town, 150 strong. Mm. And they think the president or his wife has these giant entourages. I guess the uh, communists wanted to spend uh, some of that <clears throat> extra dollars that they have. But anyway, um, uh, we don't know what went on. Uh, we don't know what kind of deals are made. They're not going to tell, tell us. They're just going to give us uh, some pablum. But it was very important that uh, the dollar didn't tank while they were here, and um, it was also important uh, that uh, everything seemed copacetic, and of course it's not. Um, and then yesterday we had the options explor- expiration in, in gold and silver, and uh, as you know, uh, they are brought down uh, so that the uh, uh, those who have options can't exercise them and make money on them. And every single month, right at the end of the month, the professionals who wrote the options come into the market and they knock it down <clears throat> so that they won't have to pay these people. And the CFTC sits there and watches and doesn't do anything. CFTC has a investigation going on right now on commodities and particularly oil futures to see if there should be some changes in the rules because there's complaints that uh, uh, they are uh, being manipulated. And, uh, of course, uh, it's to be expected that uh, gold and silver were omitted I'll have more for you later on that, but, um, uh, you know, that's the kind of game these people play. And so that's 
why the markets were the way they are, have been in the last two days. And today is just a hangover. That was the shorts were very short, particularly in gold. That's why they took advantage of yesterday and then banged it again this morning. But that should be the end of it. And uh, gold should base out in here and move back up again. Good opportunity to buy uh, coins and shares. So don't miss the opportunity if you've been thinking of buying. And, uh, you know, people say, well, shall I wait? And the answer is no. We're in a long-term bull market. What do you, you don't want to wait. I mean, if you buy a coin for $1,600 and it goes to $1,500 uh, next week, who cares? You're not buying it to trade it. Same thing with the stock. If it's $50 and... And, you know, the next couple of days it goes down to 45. You know, you're in for the long term. You're either right or you're not. It's as simple as that. Everybody else has been losing their tails. And, uh, and, and I think they're going to continue. So if you can just hold what you've got, you're going to be doing good. And, um, now there's some new developments coming, and all of you who, Subscribe to the International Forecast to know exactly what's going on out there. All the things you need to know, you know, are in that publication. And that's extremely important because uh, you don't have to go swinging around the Internet or going through 30 or 40 par periodicals a day. Uh, we do that for you. And uh, we make some fairly good decisions while we're at it, too. But... I think that's the story on gold and silver, and I think that's what we're going to get tomorrow. Uh, what was the low on the downside on gold? Uh, 9.24. And it closed at what, 9.30? We're looking at 9.30. Yeah, see, that's another test of that level. That's good. This should be it. Um, USDX, it was up about... 0.15 or 0.12 earlier. How about 0.53 at 79.50? Yeah, that's part and parcel of that. Yep. But uh, they're not going to get it back through 81, 82. They, you know, no, never happened. Well, they whacked oil today. How much was it on? oil. It was down over, uh, let me get my paint. I think it was down over $4. I don't know where it actually closed at, but it went down <sighs> 0.388. You know, it's unbelievable what this government does. And it, 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 what are the American people thinking about? What are the professionals who are in business who understand what's going on? I mean, doesn't anybody want to talk about it? I mean, it's terrible. I mean, they own the airwaves, so to speak, and the television screen. I, I watched CNN here a while back, and uh, they're talking about anybody uh, who questions uh the government about the swine flu is a terrorist. They're they're fringe lunatics. They're conspiracy theorists. I mean, you gotta ki be kidding me. I, I I just I can't believe what I see in here. Oh, another thing too is if you question the validity of the um, of the uh, birth of uh, of the place of birth. Uh, our president, Barry Saturo, or whatever name he's going by this week, uh, you, you're a terrorist. You're, you're a bad person. You're a lunatic. And a lot of people in Congress are lunatics. I had a piece, uh, it's going to be an Saturday's issue, about the uh, investigation uh, by the House into the Merrill Lynch Bank of America deal. And uh, Representative Stearns from Florida and Marge Capta took Paulson and absolutely reamed him. I mean reamed him. This guy was so uncomfortable, he was terrorized. And this representative from Florida Stearns, I'd say he might know as much about the markets as I do. 
I mean, this guy was no dumb bunny. And he just absolutely ripped them. And then March Kappa come on and called him a crook and a criminal and went on and on. And, she, and then there was a piece she did. Uh, um, she was recognized for an additional one minute. And, boy, I'll tell you, if we had more people like those two, we'd better have an easier time of it. But it's in the next issue. And... Um, I don't know if I've got both of them. I know I've got one because I started to look at the one with Stearns, so I've got that one. And and, and they were on um, 